Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you don't mind, subscribe. What we're going to talk about today, you won't believe this, scammer. <laughs> oh, let's see how we're going to tell this little story. This happened a few days ago. It was in the middle of the day, and uh, I decided to take a little nap. Usually I take a nap for 30 minutes to an hour, uh, some, somewhere usually around noon. Well, during my nap time, my phone was laying out here at the charging station. And... Uh, it rang, and Grace naturally went and answered it because she thought she might have a uh, package because usually they call my phone. <clears throat> and the guy on the other end says he's with it. It's an M MPA. <laughs> If you wonder what the MPA stands for, it's National Philippine uh, Army or something like that. Anyway, it's a communist army. And uh, here in Negroes, they're, they're known to be around in selected areas. Uh, we have never had any issues with them or even come across them that I recall if we did. Uh, they didn't want themselves to be known. At first, Grace was concerned, as I had to work to get information out of Grace, because I could truly tell that she was upset or concerned, and uh, she shows me uh, a text message, and uh, <laughs> because she'd actually hung up on it. The guy and he sends a text message that he's going to blow the house up. Anyway, he was wanting the Connor out of some money. Said he went um, 500 heads of chickens. <laughs> That's when Grace knew that he didn't know what he was talking about. Because he made the comment that y'all got a large farm. <laughs> if, if he knew anything it, it's it's very tiny <laughs> right now we probably adult chickens I think we only got about 35 heads and of course we got babies something like that but anyway I talked to her and explained to her come down to he actually asked for 2,000 pesos Again, <clears throat> again, you know, Grace ain't going to give up no money. I told Grace, I said, you know what's funny about this? I said, if you just sit back and think about it, the MPA, they're not going to be calling you and warning you that they're coming after you. For one thing. They're going to come in and kidnap you first. <clears throat> then they're going to start demanding some big money. <laughs> I still smile about it. But anyway, she does go to the police station with the phone number and uh, the text message. Uh, I did uh, screenshot shoot it and she took it to the police station. So the number and the message has been reported. And naturally the police told her that there's just a scam. It's been going on for for years, very similar conversations, uh, almost word for word, uh, when she talked to him, which I told her that's what it was too, right off the bat. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is, if you happen to be living in the Philippines, and you got a small business, even like I said, a sir or whatever, and <clears throat> they can actually get your phone number and uh, 
that, and they try to convince you that uh, to send them some money. Uh, they, the police told them that they usually target small businesses. Uh, said they normally are the ones that are more apt to send them money. Normally through uh, one of the um, pay apps like GCash and PayMaya, and, uh, or use one of the pawn shops to actually send money. They said, uh, just don't worry about it. Block the number and go on about your business. <laughs> but I, I'm letting this out there and let people know uh, this scam is still alive. It's, if you get on YouTube, you can research it and uh, you'll find that this same scam has been going on for quite some time. Uh, I actually showed Grace yesterday a few uh, YouTube videos where people actually recorded the phone calls and so forth. And it was almost word for word. And <laughs> now, how they get uh, our phone number, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe here on my YouTube channel. And, you know, I have commented that uh, about GMV Enterprise. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure but uh, I went back checked my Facebook make sure it was uh, secured private and, uh, uh, it's just too complicated to run back through all my videos if I actually had my phone number on it more than likely I did sometime in the past who knows <laughs> uh, but that's a strong possibility where it came, where they got the number. Of course, again, now my phone number, I'm one of the few. My number's almost 15 year old. I've had it for 14 and a half years. Uh, just a, a month or so after I arrived here. I've kept the same number. Uh, my number is an old son number. This is when son was son. And, uh, of course, now it's owned by Smart. Smart bought them, and I think it was in 2013. Uh, so, my number's been out there a long time, so it's probably fairly easy to define my phone number. Uh, I'm one of the few people that actually keeps the same number or not. Because, <laughs> you know, here in the Philippines, you just about to see them anywhere and you got a different number. Uh, I actually, uh, Oh gosh, when 5G first came around, I think it was, uh, I ordered a uh, SIM that I could transfer my number to. Because my old son SIM was getting pretty rugged. And uh, so I got that SIM and transferred my number to it. Uh, I was happy to be able to do that. But I, got, I was getting worried about that old son SIM. Uh, so, but anyway, folks, they just let, let people out there be aware. They are scams going on, and uh, they, they're different types. Uh, they call or text, whatever. Just stay smart and pay attention. To, uh, don't fall for these things. Fortunately, uh, Grace is uh, one of the few that wouldn't. It's, she's not that easy to <laughs> to intimidate and uh, convince that the the sim money. Now you'd be surprised how many uh, that are easy to intimidate and actually they they send her their life savings in fear. And that's what they're that's all about. They try to build a little fear in them and they uh, call and so forth so that. Uh, uh, counting on that to to get money out of it. So, this a little info, a little spot check, and uh, I think I'll post the uh, screenshot of the text that they sent. It's going to be in uh, Tagalog Visay, I think. <laughs> I might try to do a translation of my translation app. And it still doesn't make sense, but 
you'll get the message. So, if you don't mind, subscribe and stay safe.